If you've missed any of the earlier episodes of the Great Tastes series and want to see the shows and get all the recipes, go to greattastesmb.ca. Watch them when you want to watch them. Canola oil is such an integral part of the Manitoba economy and canola oil is such an integral part to your everyday cooking. We are here with Manitoba canola growers, of course, Ellen Pruden. Thank you. And variety is the spice of life. Now, I know this is one of your favorites. I don't know if this uh, is yeah. like, you, you know, maybe it was because you like to fish so much or what happened, but we are doing a fish skillet dinner mm -hmm. tonight, kind of in anticipation of, well, I guess I was going to say warmer days ahead, but, but fall fishing, right? Fall fishing is great. Yeah. Spring fishing, anytime. And anytime that you can eat fish and add it into your diet, I think it's a really... Uh, wonderful it's opportunity yeah. and it's a great thing. So we're going to heat up our pan. It's a one skillet meal so great for the weekday um, or I think it's wonderful and entertaining too because people don't get to eat a fish, eat it's fish true. quite a bit. So yeah. drizzle in our canola oil. Uh, we're looking for about a tablespoon. You want it to be nice and warm. You can see that our mm -hmm. pan is hot, hot because how it is uh, moving, moving away from each other. Yep. We're going to add in Ooh. what a great sizzle. That's what you're looking for. The first thing I do is like, okay, we got to turn it down. <laughs> do we have to or are we good to you no, this one's a nice sizzle, so we want to keep it a little warm. I feel like I'm shouting over the peak no. of the market onions. <laughs> we'll turn it down. Onions always go in first, never garlic. That's Kate. always the rule of thumb. Yes, ma'am. Because it's going to drop the heat, and we don't want to burn our garlic. Now our garlic goes in. Okay. Move it around. And this is, you know, all good recipes start off with a great base. This is the base this is that it. we're doing. Okay. And fresh tomatoes. Cut into cubes. You can use can if you want, but I would use fresh. Okay. Oh yeah, looking good already. So we'll turn the heat down just a tad there. Okay, okay so now we're gonna oh. add in our potatoes because fish and potatoes, we're not making french fries today, but we're using our wonderful red potatoes. Yep, again, peak at the market. And we're just gonna layer them in and then round. So, so that's beautiful. it, you literally just this is a, put it all in there. Yep. And just let it do its thing. Totally. Cook it up. Okay. So you want to cut your potatoes the same size, so you're going to have even cooking and even thickness. Um, we're going to sprinkle a little salt, because potatoes do need salt. So you're going to add in a little bit of salt there, and a little bit of pepper. And here is the secret, je ne sais quoi, I don't know, the oh dry sherry. So oh. it's drizzle that around, and it's going to add in a little bit of liquid to get it everything cooking, but round out the flavors. It's yeah. so really complex. And if I'm with like a lot of fish dishes, there's like a sherry or white wine or something that's involved right. with it. Seems and if you don't have a fun. sherry, again, you could use like an apple cider vinegar or, or um, apple juice, something like that. It just got super quiet in here. Right? <laughs> it's just like lid goes on ten Kay. minutes. Ten minutes. Now we have our fish. Does, don't they look beautiful? They're, They're quite so fetching. gorgeous. So, but we're going to season them with a little paprika. So just nicely over top. Is this just your preference? So again, with, with seasoning, sometimes there's a little bit of like you can... Yeah, you know, I think paprika is a really neat one. It kind of rounds out, adds in the color, ties all the flavors together really nicely. Mm -hmm. You're going to add in a little bit of salt again. And then we want to have a little bit of pepper as well. So you set your timer, 10 minutes. Okay. Done. Yep. Now, back on. All right. So we're going to so imagine that our potatoes are cooked. We've, we've moved forward in time. Yeah, the magic of that. Okay. And now we're just layering our fish. Oh, so we don't roll them up or anything no, like that? No, okay. no, no, no. Now, I've learned, uh, it, like, it took me a while, but I always used to overcook fish. So right. what's the name of the game now that we've kind of got you know, our 10 minutes into the future, potatoes and everything, they're right where they need to be. So now the fish being added, about how long are we talking about once you know, that the, lid goes back on? Pickerel is so thin and uh, delicate, so you don't want to overcook it at all, but you're looking anywhere between that five to seven minutes, okay. maybe up to 10, depending on the thickness of it. But we want to keep in some of that moisture. We're going to add in our cold-pressed canola oil, or okay. extra virgin canola oil. And you can go to xvcanolaoil.com and get more information all about it in the different varieties Lots and different vintages. Kinds. But we want to keep that moisture on it and this is where you could do a high heat for canola because it's acting as for the extra virgin it's acting as more of you know a sealer of those flavors okay. this goes back on and so then, like 10 minutes right okay. and then as you're it's all in one so really maybe a great green salad to go with it I'm thinking like a crusty bread to get all those juices gonna be yes. a lot of good juices in there that would when be all is said and done. so delicious and 
cast iron pan would be ideal, you know, and it's a wonderful way to keep it all together. And then that's our final dish. Absolutely Beautifully beautiful. come together, you know, nicely portioned out. Mm -hmm. Everyone can kind of dig in and, and enjoy. Life is good with Manitoba Canola Growers. When we come back, Aaron Allblast, what's he going to do? Beverage pairings with uh, Manitoba Liquor Mart. When we come back on Great Taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba Liquor Mart. Enjoy responsibly.